this is Heidi Caswell, WordPress 101 for Boomers. And I'm going to show another plugin. This is not the one that most people use for comment spam. Uh, this is called Anti Spam B. This is one that I've not used before. I'm putting it on this, um, this WordPress for Boomers site, 101 for Boomers. And so I can see how it works, see how it compares to using the Kismet. Um, anyway, I'll let you know how it goes, but I'm going to use just this one for a little bit. Um, anyway, you can read a little bit about it on their page, and you can actually find it by searching in um, your under plugins inside your dashboard. I actually added the anti spam B by going over to the um, WP Quick Deploy, and um, I just checked on it when I was adding plugins, and there it is. And then I hit and I already activated it at the same time. Um, then you need to go to the settings and just check your settings and have the settings set up, which I did. I'll show you. Okay, I have here that when they come into just mark it as spam, do not delete it. That way I can go back and check and make sure it's not comments I really like. One time I found a comment from my daughter on one of my websites and it was marked as spam. It didn't look spammy at all to me, but it was still marked as spam. So I like to have the option that I can go in and look in the spam filter and see if there's anything there that I want that I need to keep. Uh, I don't want to really have a backlog or anything to look at. And, and so anything in there that's not checked is going to be deleted after seven days. Um, you can use different things. You could block comments from specific countries. If I start getting a lot of um, spam from certain countries, a lot of times they'll ha be like RU from Russia or maybe someplace in Turkey. And if I'm getting those, then I would start blocking them from those countries. Um, Project Honeypot, I have not really checked into that yet. Um, you know, it may be worth, ch it's, it's, it's worth checking out. I just haven't had time to do that yet. You can get that free and put that in there, and um, it'll help with the finding the spammers in some way. I don't have all the details on that one yet. Um, I'm only allowing comments in English right now. I could allow them in English or German, and I'm going to go ahead, or just any language, but since my site is an English website, uh, I don't really speak the other language as well. I just prefer having the comments in English. Um, Anyway, these are incoming comments. I just assume be the, you know, this is the settings I have on it. I may come back and adjust the settings as I go along. Uh, but anyway, then you just have to hit click. The first time, it's not say changes, but just to set it up, and your website's up and running. And I'll let you know how it goes. I'll let you know what type of spam comes in, or whether the things I really want are in different spam folders. But I'll let you know. We'll do a review on this in a couple months. Anyway, have fun and keep the spam off your blog. Uh, Heidi Castle with uh, WordPress 101 for Boomers.